What's up guys, just thought I'd share a quick video today. Uh, nothing big, just a fun little app. If you are, I guess, liking the new Facebook chat head that they added, it's pretty cool, but personally I don't like using the Facebook Messenger that much. It's just... I feel like Facebook's trying too hard now. They should just leave it as is. This Facebook home stuff is just terrible, so... Anyway... But the chat head's a good idea. So, I found this um, application under development in uh, XDA, which I'll provide a link. And it's called um, Floating Notification. Now, if you could see right over here. Actually, that works. You could see that one little bubble that just kind of stays on my screen. So, um, this right here is my floating notification. I can move it all around, you know, whenever it pops up like over here somewhere, I don't know. And um, right now it's telling me I have a message. It have a stack of notifications. But right now it's all I have is a message. So here it says I have a message. I tap on it and then it'll read it off in a small text, which you probably can't read on camera because I'm using the shitty webcam. Um, then you press it again and it'll go away. If I can actually... There we go. Sorry, I can't do it with my other finger. And then you hold it. And it should fade away. I forget how the controls work exactly. I don't double tap, I think. Double tap? Yeah, double tap turns it off. Okay. And um, also, if you take that notification, um, let's see, I'm pretty sure it'll be gone now. But, um, and tap on the text, then it'll bring you to the app that the notification is from. So it's a pretty cool little app. I mean, it's nothing really special. Um, I'll show you the actual application. Here you can see you can just change a few different things. There's a light and a dark theme. I'm using dark because my whole phone is dark themed. Um, you can change the icon size. I made it a little bigger than the default 100 just because it looked better in my opinion. Oops. Um, and then you could also change the font size. There's a few options like don't show notification in the same app. And then you scroll over here and you get to pick all the applications that this works for. So really I only use it for messaging in Google+. But you could use it on anything. So it's cool. Know what I mean? So anyway guys, uh, I'm not going to waste too much time with this. I just thought it was something cool. And um... Like I said, I'm going to provide a link down below to the XDA thread, because I take no credit for making this. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave in the comments below. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.